We're going to start this section with the sun. Fake AI. This is something we've covered a few times. Uh, who's got this, Lewis? I guess I do. How fake AI images and Hamas propaganda are indoctrinating a generation as they spread on TikTok and X. And uh, and this is about dirty tricks and bots and TikTok and and uh, and it, it's about the like I say, it's about the, this kind of there's two wars going on. There's the war for the hearts and minds of the world, yes. which Israel is losing because people are believing this stuff and they're showing. A but picture. it wouldn't matter anyway. Because what's really interesting about this stuff, yeah, they can create these fake AI images yeah. to pretend that things are happening in the war that are not happening. But even when things are seen quite blatantly, like, for instance, the image, the CCTV from the hospital, where you saw uh, hostages being dragged through, injured, with guys with clashing coughs and even, a, I think, a kind of cle a meat cleaver or something. And then you had journalists sort of saying, oh, well, there's nothing to see there. They're just taking them for treatment. <laughs> Yeah, so as if I mean this is utterly ridiculous. It was. It was like a sketch from the far show. It was. It was great. I mean, the thing about AI is terrifying. You and I agree on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because um, and it's. I start to feel older when I see stuff like this because I think we need to hark back to a time when we thought for ourselves. Yeah. We. I know it's very 1990s of me, but there was a time pre-social media when you you would read a few things, you'd have access to limited amount of information, and then you'd make your own mind up based oh, no, on. Oh, you can't be there anymore. That's... So. so uh, the trouble is, we rely entirely on social media now. Yeah, but we shouldn't. Like, we have to be a bit more sceptical about this stuff. I, mean, I agree. Say, I think they're going to show a couple of images of the the AI generated images. Oh my god, absolutely horrible. harrowing. And uh, you know, and the thing is about this stuff is is people react to it, and even when things are ultimately proven to be wrong, proven Balance. to be false, people then say. The, the, it's, the damage has been done. Yeah, you know? and it's representative of what's, you know, yeah. some sort of he's live reality. He's got the six fingers on his hands. Yeah, this isn't, that's not a, it's not real. Can I put a, can I put a positive spin on it? Because otherwise I'm not going to be able to go to sleep and maybe the people aren't going to be able to go to sleep. Is, is the more they spread images of horror that's been yes. done in Gaza, the more other countries are saying, maybe we don't want to mess with Israel and the Jews as much well, as the, we used to. The problem with it is, Lewis, is that all war has horrific images, right? All war is absolutely horrible. And the difference today is that a lot of it is captured on smartphones, etc. But that's that, not so, the so point that I'm making. No, I'm, I'm moving you away to a better point. I think, <laughs> but I, but I, th I think the, the, the better point that I was making was actually to do with the fact that, you know, this was always going to be inevitable and it can always be, images of this kind can always be used to, to paint the other side as evil or whatever it might be. But remember that Israel has two audiences. They have us who are giving money to them and supporting Israel. And but, then, and yes, then they, they have to win a PR battle as well as a war. They, well, you know what? I think what they're thinking is, you know what it's like Netanyahu said, we live in a tough neighborhood. And they're trying to show the people. I'm not saying this is the right thing. It, it's not the right thing in my mind. But they're trying to show their neighbors do not mess with us. Well, what do you think? I think there's a sub story to this as well because they mentioned TikTok a lot. They also mentioned X, Twitter. Yes. But TikTok gets mentioned a lot, and the reason it does is because it's Chinese owned, and there is this theory. I wouldn't say it's a conspiracy at all. There's a theory that they are propagating this stuff yeah. because they lean towards the Palestinian argument yeah. and they want to undermine America. Well, it could be, and certainly there's been a lot of stupid comments by young TikTok users, but nothing new there really.